that's what you use for your stand for in the, in the stamp? Perfect. Yeah. Like Call of Duty stamp? Or stamp? Dude, I don't play video games. Dude, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll only do bushcraft. <laughs> All right, one thing I forgot to do yesterday, I didn't forget to do it, I just uh, was lagging on doing it, was getting the battery all the way charged up. And so I charged it up to about 30% yesterday, and I wanna give a little bit more to it going into this evening, because it's supposed to get pretty cold. And uh, that always has a tendency to drain a lot of my electronics, the batteries. So if I'm working with my computer, or which I will be, or just some other stuff in here, I wanna make sure that I'm good to go. And so we're gonna take the, the EV-150 here, now, um, I was going to say one thing about this battery that I really like for Nomad Living is it's like slender, you know, so it's like tall, it's like a little tower thing. It's kind of like an old computer CPU and it's got a really sturdy handle on it to be able to carry with you. So it's pretty, pretty convenient in that regard. There's plugs on both the front and the back, which I like because when I'm camping with this thing, I don't want the lights here. Let me throw on these lights. I don't want these things. I don't even think it's, yeah, I don't have enough charge. But I don't want oh there they are. Just like that. I mean that's when you're camping, whoops, when you're camping, that's a I'm sorry. So when you're camping, these these tend to be pretty bright. So it's nice to put this to the side and you can just have it like this. And you got plugs on both the front and the back. So anyway, we're gonna hop out here. Check out the snow accumulation. It's already coming down pretty good. We've already got a good amount. It's here, you want to go outside? And so uh, we're going to head outside here and pull out the slide out extension so I can have access to my inverter in the back. And then we're going to charge this and uh, we're going to take some other devices in the truck and charge them as well. And that way, when I get the battery back in here, you know, I can just kind of have all of the charge in it from the truck and not be like daisy chaining items and charging them while I'm getting that uh, battery up and running. But I'm so stoked, man. I mean, like, it, it's so nice to be hanging out in here and have the stove going. It's nice and comfortable. As you can see, I was sitting over here next to the stove with my little chair and little tiny low rider table. But it's perfect for being in here. I mean, it's like the perfect height. And this is kind of like another little bench I can use, which is cool. That's my fridge right there. So, all right, let's get the battery going. So I came in to switch out the battery real quick and Sierra came in and she's got a little bit of accumulation on her back here. So let's go back out, come on, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go run around in the snow. Let's go. Really? Hey, do you want that? I've got a painter's pole. We could put it underneath here and adjust it. Oh, and that would be a great idea. Yeah, let me go grab that real quick. Hey Sierra, let's go so we go. So awnings are awesome, but when it's really sticky like this, it's just they they attract a bunch of snow. So it's good to have an adjustable pole like this. It's just a painter's extension pole or utility extension pole. So you can kind of raise it up to the height that you need and lock it in place. And then underneath it, I always put like a big towel or something so it doesn't poke, poke through a hole. But that's how I've been able to shed the water when I was doing the spring winter camping with my truck awning. So. All right, we're going to go on a walk. <laughs> we're vlogging, dog. So That's so funny. <laughs> I hate it when people say vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> I love the attitude of that little guy. He's such a shithead. <laughs> He's awesome. In Colorado, I sometimes feel like people are like, ugh. Yeah, I, I do get looked at yeah. a little bit sometimes, especially in the more affluent communities. Like, exactly. I'll it's, go through Aspen and I'm like, I'm not going to camp here. Yeah, it's <laughs> a matter of property value. Yeah. Know? The more that uh, properties are worth, the more um, not nice people get. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's just that entitlement mentality. For sure.
a good example of uh, fatwood because all the joints I know have the sap still in them because the tree isn't totally degraded. And then so what I'll do is I'll bring the axe over and I'll just chop right at the, right at the joints on all these trees that are down. Oh, that down. I thought you were talking about this stone. No, this down tree right here. Come on. Come on, dude. Cam, come here, buddy. Oh, he's smelling where Sierra went to the bathroom. Come here. Oh, this smells like my girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad she's around town. Let's see. All right, we're good to go. Let's see how the stove is doing in here. Whoa, nice and warm. And so, do you want me to sit on this side, or do you want me to sit over here? Um, probably on the same side, okay. if that's cool. No, that's totally fine. So just let me do what I'm doing, <laughs> yeah. um, Like, something to get me up a little taller so that it sounds even. Okay. Like, even if I sit on oh, a rock. I was going to say, you can sit on the vestibule. Is that cool? Yeah, it's totally fine. Good I don't think you'd bend the... On the okay, that that's totally cool because I can sit on the rock. Okay, dude, I'm gonna have you sign this NDA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't sue me if I'm like, whoa, <laughs> wait, wait to have a guarded conversation <laughs> on the podcast, you know? <laughs> Do I pull? Okay, there is this one. Yeah. It's just, they have just used it so many times. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, look at, now, now if, if you go around this way, look at the look at the ropes on the far side of the tent. Oh, they got like ice dude. accumulated on them. Dude, dude it's, three, it's 3 30. Like, they, they, tomorrow we're gonna wake up and be like, we're not leaving for a while. This is nice, man. Look at all this snow coming out of the side. Yeah, you. you got insulation, dude. <laughs> Mother nature. I'm gonna come in here and sleep. Let's yeah, see. sorry, baby. It was really nice in there. <laughs> And while trying to not share exactly where we are, okay, and or where we were, uh -huh. um, if you don't mind, not yeah, no, that's, on this. I think that's a good idea. Just because, yeah, it's just so, like, yeah, it's just, just Any, better to not. Anything that we can do to keep these places quaint, yeah, and like especially with winter camping, and even like bringing that up, mm -hmm. like the idea of geotagging and stuff, and how that can be like misused. Let's and, talk about it. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah. Okay. I think that's really nice. I guess I could flip it so that it And that's what you use for your stand for in the, in the that's scan? Perfect. Yeah. Like Call of Duty scan? Or scan? Dude, I don't play video games. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only do bushcraft. That's the only game that I play. 